In this tutorial, we'll be discussing what happens during the reduction of a carbonyl group. Question reads, write the equation for the reduction of cyclopentanone using hydrogen in the presence of a nickel catalyst. Let's begin by drawing out what cyclopentanone looks like. We have a ketone because the word ends with O-N-E. So we know it's a ketone. And we also know that it's a cyclical structure consisting of five carbons. So let's draw a pentagon like this. And because it's a ketone, it will have a carbonyl group. Carbonyl groups look like this, where you have carbon double bonded to oxygen and you have the rest of the molecule. So technically, this corner here can be our carbon double bonded to oxygen. So this is what the structure looks like. And we want to know what happens in the presence of hydrogen gas and the catalyst being nickel. During the reduction of this molecule, hydrogen atoms are added to the carbon and to the oxygen in the carbonyl group. So expect this oxygen to be bonded with a hydrogen and it becomes a single bond and this carbon gains a hydrogen. So expect this as your product in the reduction of this molecule. The second question reads, what is the name of the product obtained from the hydrogenation of 2-methylbutanol? So here we have Al and that means it's an aldehyde. Aldehydes look a little different than ketones. So instead of this R being a carbon, it's hydrogen. Let's draw this out. 2-methylbutanol. But is a four carbon chain. And it's an aldehyde, so expect this to be double bonded to oxygen and the hydrogen here. 2-methyl means that we'll have a methyl group on carbon 2 and the rest of the molecule should look like this. So this is being hydrogenated and what product do we end up getting? We will end up getting, just like in question number one, this oxygen gaining an electron where it becomes, let me just rewrite everything else, so this oxygen becomes OH and since we have an extra hydrogen we will write it down here so this becomes CH2 to name this we can say that we have a butanol butane it's now an alcohol so we write down butanol NOL it's happening on the first carbon and the methyl part doesn't change so 2-methyl, 1-butanol. And there you have it. That is what happens during the reduction of carbonyl groups.